Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my NFL Playoffs Wild Card Round Picks. Before we talk about Wild Card Weekend, uh, well, I thought I'd give some quick takes on what happened in week number 17. Obviously, the story of week number 17 was the unfortunate collapse of the Dallas Cowboys and the NF that entire NFC East. I... It's really tough to say out of that what happened this whole season through that through that whole division itself, and from what I was reading and reading about that we don't know if Jason Garrett's going to be fired. That's I, I hate to say it, I don't think he's going to be fired, but that's just my opinion. But for for an Eagles team that was battered all season long and yet they managed to pull away to win the NFC East, that to me is quite astonishing. The other big the other big thing that happened in week number 17 was the Patriots. They have to play in the wild card round now thanks to the Dolphins winning and the Chiefs beating the crap out of the Chargers. So, yep, for and keep in mind, as much as I want to bury the New England Patriots as everybody wants to and all that, you have to keep in mind on something here. The Patriots are still the dark horse in the AFC, and it wouldn't surprise me if by all counts and miracles is that they get to the conference championship game let alone they get to the Super Bowl because the problem with that whole AFC conference no matter what better team look the Ravens and the Chiefs have been the much better teams in that conference this year as much as the Patriots have been but when it comes down to the postseason the Patriots are always the dark horse it seems like we try to put them down and yet they still get to the conference championship and they still get to the Super Bowl so anybody right now in the AFC, if, if anybody's got a legit chance to beat the Patriots, they better beat them now because if they don't, I can see them getting to the Super Bowl. Anyways, Patriots have to play a wild card weekend with the Ravens and the Chiefs getting the bye week. And the NFC right now, the 49ers off a t that game, I mean, I, as much as I want to, you could criticize the Seahawks all you want. But personally, though, I mean, uh, there was a pass interference penalty towards the end that should have been called. But really... That delay of game really hurt Seattle, which, come on, honestly, you had you could have had Marshawn Lynch run the ball. You would have easily gotten that touchdown if you hadn't have taken that delay of game penalty. You basic, They basically gave the 49ers the number one seed as well as the NFC West division, and that to me is just astonishing. But either than that, hey, it happens. 49ers and the Packers getting the bye. So now the, the Seahawks will have to settle for playing the Eagles on Wild Card Weekend. Anyways, my friends, let's talk about the NFL playoffs finally. The playoffs are here, and of course, it's Wild Card Weekend. Let's, be, let's talk about those Wild Card games. Beginning in the AFC, let's begin with AFC Wild Card Game. The Buffalo Bills versus the Houston Texans. The Texans are a 2.5 point favorite in this game. And big questions now surrounding uh, Deshaun Watson. Can he finally r rise up to the occasion in the postseason? That remains to be seen. Now, the Bills did not play jo um, Allen last week. I mean, I I'm only going to say from his Week 16 stats against the Patriots. Allen went 13 of 26, 208 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. This was from week 16 because they didn't play in week 17. Texans, um, Watson, from his week 16 game, he didn't play in week 17 as well. Watson, 19 of 32, 184 yards, no touchdowns, and one interception in which he played against the Buccaneers, which clinched the um, AFC South division. Houston has been kind of a team just, they're just underachievers. I look at it this way. Last year they got, they lost to the Colts in their playoff game. And my question is, with a, with a different team they have to face, especially a Buffalo Bills team for a team that is on the rise and a team that's got a great defense. Despite the Texans maybe being a slight favorite in this game, I'm actually going to pick the Buffalo Bills in this game. I don't know if this Houston Texans team can finally get out of the get out of that um terrible uh streak that they always have when it comes to the playoffs they have never they don't get as far they've got they gone to the divisional round before but they that is as far as they've gotten can this texans team finally wake up and get to that next step 
I just think with the Buffalo Bills and that tough defense that they have, I think to me, um, I would. It's it's going to be. I think it's going to be too much for the Texans to overcome this game. It's going to be another lost season for them, another disappointment for the Texans. I see the Bills winning this game, but don't get me wrong here. This game's going to be close. I expect this game to be close here. Should be a good one in Houston for that wild card game. But I'm picking the Bills in this one. I think the Bills will beat the Texans here. Texans are going to Texan fans. I hate to disappoint you here, but I think the I think that it's going to be a. I don't know if you're ever going to get over the hump. That's the thing. So I'm going to pick the Bills here. I think the Bills will beat the Texans here, and that's my pick in that game. The te- the Bills over the Texans. The other AFC wild card game. The Tennessee Titans versus the New England Patriots. Patriots are a five-point favorite in this one, and I absolutely agree. Keep in mind of something here. Ryan Tannehill, after playing so many years with the Dolphins, after playing as much time with the Dolphins, he knows the Patriots pretty well. But this is now going to be his biggest test yet with that Titans team, and this is not the regular season. This is the postseason. Now, Tannehill, in in last week in Week 17... 13 of 20, 198 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Brady played the entire game uh, last week in Week 17. He went 16 of 29, uh, 221 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. This is going to come down for a lot of things for the Patriots. They're going to have to go on the road now to, to get to the Super Bowl. This is their only home game they get. I think I'm going with the New England Patriots here. I just think to me, the Titans and Tannehill, they they really don't have enough. They just don't have enough to beat a two a well experienced New England Patriot team that knows how to win in the postseason. Brady he might not have his best game in this one either. I, it's tough to say whether I give the Titans any chance, but I just think when it comes to postseason experience, I gotta go with the Patriots. The Patriots just have that experience. And there's no question. I see this. I don't. I don't see this being a game. I think that defense is really going to give Tannehill tons of trouble. And I like the Patriots in this one here. Patriots over the Titans. Moving over to the NFC now. The NFC wild NFC wild card game. The Minnesota Vikings versus the New Orleans Saints. The Saints. The odds makers actually have the Saints as a seven and a half point favorite in this one. Obviously, they put in th- they put that number for a reason because the Minnesota Vikings are on a big time losing streak. But in my honest opinion, that number should actually be lower. Now, Cousins didn't play last week, which is good. I they rest them up for this game. Cousins in week 16, 16 to thirty one, one hundred and twenty two yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Now, Drew Brees actually played in week seventeen for a, for a little bit. Um, he went nineteen of thirty, two hundred fifty three yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. Offense is going to be the key for both these two teams. Defense-wise, they're evenly matched. But when it comes down to home field, I like the New Orleans Saints in this game. And I'm picking the Saints. I think for Minnesota, that down the stretch, I don't know if they can make a run here. And especially especially Kirk Cousins, I think this is only his um, third playoff game he's ever played in. He's played in two, but yet... Just, but yet I I think this is no this is a second playoff game excuse me, um, I don't know if he's ready for this especially look Minnesota's offense is pretty good, but the Saints I think are just much better and the Saints now going in now this is the postseason time you don't think they're on a mission right now to get back to the Super Bowl to get to the Super Bowl after what happened last year and and that controversial um, uh, pass interference that sh- that was never called. When it comes down to this game here, Drew Brees in an offense, I think it's just way better than the Vikings here. Vikings defense is a bit banged up, and I don't know. And I don't know if Cook's going to play in, ter- in terms of offense right now because really that's what that's a key thing that Minnesota's missing right now. And I don't know if he's going to play in that game. I mean, I don't. I don't think he'll be playing. In my honest opinion, that guy's too banged up. I like the Saints in this one here. I think the Saints will beat the Vikings here. It'll be another disappointing season for the Vikings, and that is my pick. Saints over the Vikings. And finally, and finally the the other NFC wild card game, the Seattle Seahawks versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Seahawks are actually favored in this game at one and a half. Both these two teams are dealing with injuries. 
this game could actually go either way, in my honest opinion. Now, Wilson in Week 17, 25 of 40, 233 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Carson Wentz for the Eagles, 23 of 40, 289 yards, one touchdown, and no interceptions. Offense-wise, Seahawks, technically, their offense is just a tad better than the Eagles. Defense-wise, they're about evenly matched. This game really is a huge toss-up here. Tough one to pick here. Be, the reason is because both these teams are struggling with injuries right here. But when it comes down, when it comes down to playoff experience, this is Carson Wentz's first. Play, um, technically, it's his. Uh, I think it's his. Uh, his his second playoff game, I think, or something like that. But when it comes down to playoff experience, you got to go with Russell Wilson. You got to go with the Seahawks here. Basically, the Eagles and Cowboys fighting for that NFC East, basically, in all honesty, was for nothing. Because they are getting a tough wildcard opponent in the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks have the experience. Russell Wilson has been there before. And it wouldn't surprise me if the Seahawks win pretty handily against the Eagles. But I still think this game will be close. But I like the Seahawks in this game. And that's my pick in this wildcard game. I like the Seahawks over the Eagles. All right, everybody, that wraps up all of my wild card round picks. And, of course, stay tuned next week when I talk about my divisional round picks. So, finally, my friends, the playoffs are here, and I can't wait to watch all these games this weekend. Take care and enjoy this football weekend.